actually look at the solution, let me tell you something very important. The answer cannot be option C. Right? Without doing any calculation, you must be able to figure out that answer cannot be option C, which is square root of AB plus BC plus C. Now, how do we know this? Just go by the concept of units, units of measurement. See, there are three circles of radius A, B and C respectively. Now, this is nothing but length. A, B and C are lengths. A is length, B is length and C is also length. Now, we need to find out the area of the triangle, right? Whatever triangle it is, right? Area is required. You know that area is always measured in square units. Answer should be in square units. When do we get square units? Length into length is square units, right? For example, if it is volume, how do we get that? Cubic units. So we say volume is so and so cubic units, right? Or cubic centimeter, cubic meter, whatever it is. So the point to be noted here is, what is given in the question? Three lengths have been given, A, B and C. Now those lengths are radius of three circles or three sides of a triangle or whatever it is. We do three lengths and square units is required. Area should be in square units. So answer should be in square units. Now if you look at option C, what do you see? Length into length, length square. Length into length, length square. Length into length, length square. Length square plus length square plus length square is length square. Square root of length square. So square root and square gets cancelled. What is left? Length. So if you really look at it, I mean, simple smart way of eliminating the options. Of course, here we are able to eliminate only one of them, but then you can eliminate three also at times, right? So this cannot be the answer because this is giving you length. This cannot be area. This is length. Hence, rule out. Look at the remaining options. See, this is like this. Length into length into length. Length cube. Now this a plus b plus c is another length. Length cube into length. Length power 4. Square root of length power 4, length square. We need square units. That's so possible. Same is the case with this one. Length into length, length into length, length into length. So overall we have length square. Under root. Gives you length. Length into length. a plus b plus c is another length. Length into length, length square. Right. So I hope you are clear with this idea now, right? May not be useful in every question, but there may be a case where you can eliminate the answer options just by looking at the units there. And it doesn't take much time, right? If you're wondering that it takes so much time to eliminate the options, no. If you're clear with what needs to be done, it's it's very, very simple, right? Understand, length plus length is length. Length into length is length square. So you need to go by units here, right? I need square units, which is possible only in option A and option B. Option C is not in square units. However, let's look at the solution here, right? The detailed solution for this question. So what does it say? There are three circles of radii A, B and C which touch each other externally, right? So how, how does it look like, right, the figure there? Let's say uh, these are the circles which touch each other externally, right? Don't go by the diagram there. Three circles, right? This is, these are the centers. Now what will be the area of the triangle that is formed by joining their centers? So this is one circle, center, this is the second center and third center. We have to join all these three to get a triangle here. Now, understand, let's say this is the circle of radius A. Now from the center up to this circumference, this is A. From the center up to the circumference, this also is A. Let's say this is the circle with radius B. So from the center up to the circumference, B. From the center up to circumference, B. Of course, these circles should not overlap. Forget about what I have drawn here, but if you can visualize the figure properly, right? The circles will be just touching each other, right? Touching externally. Likewise, this is center. Up to the circumference, C. Center up to the circumference here, C. Now, if you observe, the triangle here has got the three sides, of course, right? What are those three sides? This side is B plus C. Right? This side of the triangle. Observe this side of the triangle. How much is it? A plus C. This is A plus C. And what about this side of the triangle? It is A plus B. So, basically, we have got a scale and triangle here. Scale and triangle, which has got three different sides, right? If you look at the triangle now, it is like this. B plus C is this side, A plus C is this side, and the third side here is A plus C. Now you know how to get the area of a scale and triangle, right? How do we get the area? Area of a scale and triangle is given as root over S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. Where S is semi-parameter, A, B, C are the three sides. Well, don't get confused here. A, B, C are not three sides. A, B, C in the given case are radius, right? But A, B, C should be three sides. So let me change it. Let's say the sides are X y and z. So what will be the formula then? Root over s into s minus x, s minus y, s minus z. Are you able to follow, right? So just to avoid that confusion, right? A, B, C is already used in the question, so we are not taking the formula in terms of units. So s is the semi-perimeter. How do you get semi-perimeter? Semi-perimeter s here is nothing but perimeter, half of perimeter. So take the complete perimeter now. What is the perimeter? A plus b 
plus the other side is a plus c and the third side is b plus c whole divided by 2 7 perimeter half of perimeter now a plus a 2a b plus b 2b c plus c 2c so 2 times of a plus b plus c divided by 2 2 and 2 gets cancelled so what do we get a plus b plus c this is the semi perimeter to follow semi perimeter is equal to now substitute so we can see area a will be equal to root over s what is s a plus b plus c into s minus x understand s minus x what is x a plus b a plus b plus c minus a plus b what is that c is left so this is c s minus y what is y a plus c a plus b minus of a plus c so a and c gets cancelled what is that b and s minus z what is that b plus c so a plus b plus c minus of b plus c so b and b uh, b and minus b c and minus c gets cancelled what is that a that's your answer so what is the area now a plus b plus c into a b c which is option a all right so maybe because values are not given we have to do it theoretically it's like a theorem it, it takes a little bit of time but once you have done it i'm sure solving it should be very quick right and you you know draw the diagram i mean this can be visualized you know that the three sides of the triangle will be a plus b b plus c and c plus c just apply this formula and get the answer there okay so simple question option a square root of a plus b plus c into a b c is the correct answer